up, Digi Destins? This is Kyle D, better known as Ride My Avatar, and today we're gonna go over some cards you should pick up before BT7 comes out. Because if you miss out on this, you might be struggling a little bit to grab these cards once people start buying into them and we start having tournaments that you might want to pick up. So picking these up in advance will help you build your library of cards you might need so guys let's dive right into the video and go over it all so let's start it out boys and girls let's start off with tamers so why did i pick these tamers and exactly ty really does help out with the alpha mon deck or durgur mon deck that we will be seeing in because it gives it a little extra power boost in defensive ability and it's just a really great tamer all in all izzy and the joe kind of go hand in hand and they still are really great tamers all in all for black they're fundamentally backbone of black right now i mean izzy joe kind of adds into the fact for the d brigade stuff it just allows them to get get going faster especially with d brigade getting into skull nightmon territory they kind of combine and synergize extremely well because once you toss a few they you can grab from the drop and then when skull when dark skull nightmon dies it can play two copies to a deadly axemon and skull nightmon from its evolutionary sources right onto the battlefield it's going to be quite huge and very interesting what they do from there let's talk about it matt ishida just to set yourself to to three but when when you play a blue digimon you may spend this tamer trash the bottom of digi evolution on one of your opponent's digimon this helps out with removing sources from your opponent's digimon to help with the blue lockdown though ice wall did get hit the deck is a little weaker for it but it comes a little more fair and traditional as we keep talking about this davis is always going to be a fundamentally great blue card it's going to just be a plus one when revealing the top and sometimes it might be a, a zero but you'll still get your three search uh sora joe is to help with let's say hexablaumon the ice wall you know stun deck it just helps out in general just to help remove sources and if your opponent has no digimon with in cards in play with evolutionary sources that helps out and we gain extra memory. It's just to help us out. Matt Ishida, just because Gabubon isn't going anywhere, it's still a great card all in general. So don't sleep on this. You're still going to get that draw and gain a memory. The deck is still good going into the format. Matt Ishida is this Matt Ishida is from the trial deck. It definitely helps out with the gaining the memory because with stun decks, you just want more memory to keep blocking your opponent's stuff out so it just helps out in general just keep that in mind Mimi's in here for the green decks because Mimi is just one of the best green tamers the green has i mean being able to hatch and stuff like that helps dig and fuel out stuff that we normally wouldn't have so keep that in mind then we have maddie shida maddie shida is always purple's go-to it's just a great play for four gain a purple digimon card or option back in hand that's all it really is it's just to make sure that after you lose everything it comes back and then Kyrie's really nice because when a card is removed from your security stack you may spend the tamer gain a memory this helps out because she is a three cost she's a really good tamer all in all because if we lose out security in any way shape or form it could pass this to our turn which might help us win the game so then we have Tai Kamiya it's still great Jessmon loves this card um actually the hybrid deck actually can play about two of these and they're kind of happy with it just keep that in mind ty is still a viable tamer all in all marcus damon is just straight up graymon support or anything like that there are a few graymon decks that float around in this format so marcus really does help out keep that synergy so keep that in mind then we have ty for the bonds decks because it's still a deck that exists we have bonds up here graymon build and then we have H, the Emperor Greymons. And then we also have Jessmon flowing around. We have about four red decks in the meta that really do help out. Analog Youth is pretty much slammed in almost every Bonds and every hybrid deck that you could ever think of. Well, mostly in red and blue because they have their ancient forms that instantly die at the end of turn. So which would trigger this to gain us a hatch and 
for us to you know get back to our turn after our digimon dies so keep that in mind then we have Ty, uh tk this is for shine and stuff like that shine and then the new hybrid security deck so you have shine graymon hybrid security deck and Lord Nightmon being the new prevalent big boys in Yellow's domain. So keep that in mind. Um, I will make videos about this later. But keep I, I want you guys to know about these decks in advance. Pick up your TKs. It's going to be really good. Kyrie's in there for the shiny boy deck. Just because gaining extra memory is really nice. And we like to sit on three anyway. But it can be replaced just to play the TK Kyrie just to get better guaranteed if you're a fewer security than your opponent. Gain two memory, which you will most likely be in most cer certainly. When one of your yellow Digimon attacks, you may spend this tamer to minus 1000 DP, one of your opponent's Digimon. Really good. And then also TK's in here to up our security Digimon to survive abilities, make it really strong, but also because it's a two cost tamer, and then we can just Digivolve on top of that. And we can just go to town there. So that's kind of the tamers you want to have if you're planning on building certain decks. And I mentioned what decks they'll be played in. So keep that in mind. Now let's talk about it. The Digitama you might want to get. Green just has a nice plethora plus the new Cormon in the set. Um, the reason why we like all these, they just benefit so much. This one helps with Nidhogg if you were playing Nidhogg versions. And this one attacks and puts Digimon which we would most likely do. We can have draw potential. And then Minomon. Minomon's just so if we're at a level six or higher, gain a thousand DP. Very easy to do with our deck. And just keep that in mind. Uh, Pogamon is just best black um, Digitama. I would not say there's any other Digitama that keeps up with it. Uh, Upamon is great for the stun deck. Azulamon. Stuff like that, just because Upamon just does everything you need it to do. Your opponent has a Digimon with no Digi Evolution cards in play. Trigger draw on one. Very, very possible with Azulamon and the, the stun deck is to constantly just be gaining draw potential with this. So keep that in mind. Koroma. Kayuromon is when this when one of your opponent's Digimon Digi Evolution is trash. Trigger draw one. Just another draw potential. Upamon's just better because on swing. It's a little more consistent and more likely to happen before you trash with options. So keep that in mind. Uh, Demi Marimon, purple's best starter uh, in training or Digitama. Always, it's just going to be there. Tsunimon is when you trash a card in your hand using one of your effects, trigger draw one. With the Aizmon combo, this card goes off a little bit more consistently, but you'll still want the Demi Mara or you can go more on Tsunimon. So that's all up to you on that. Babidomon is still great while well, this Digimon has piercing just for, you know, our... The major deck that this plays in is Jessmon, just because it's constant guaranteed piercing. This card is played in every other red deck known to man because it's really good when this Digimon attacks a player, gain 1000 DP, makes survivability really nice. Yellow decks kind of just lean on to being Upamon because they'll play more in this three or fewer security to trigger draw. So keep that in mind that Upamon is kind of the go-to. And then Bebidomon, if you're at three security, gain a memory. Both really find niche values in themselves. Depends on what we see going forwards in the meta. So let's talk about the next bunch of cards. So I figured it'd be great to start talking about. I'll go in like semi-color order here. First off, pick up everything that was in BT4 that was related to hybrids. It really does help out, and it's going to really do you some justice that you're going to need. Pick up the Yagunimons, Flamedramons, anything else that you can think of, pick it up. Um, same thing with Blue. You're going to pick up Starabimons. You'll pick up Lobomon, Ancient, Garu, Kendo Garumon, just to have all of these cards ready and set to go, and they'll help you out in the long game. Starabimon even here, really good. Also, pick up... I forgot to really grab this one real quick. It's very important. This card is hot for red. I, I don't understand why I forgot that, but let's level short this real quick. So we have Flame Mon here. This card is what makes the hybrid red deck work so well, because now your ancient Greymon can swing in and have Pierce while they didn't have Blocker 
they had blockers up it wouldn't have mattered now now it does matter in the slightest because now you have piercing they 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 won't waste the blocker now so keep that in mind that that's how that's gonna go uh agumon here is great for you know the bonds decks and the war graymon deck that just floats around a little bit so keep that in mind uh go awesome on is in here for you can't reduce the de-evolution costs so this can help you if your opponent is playing Lilith loops anything like that they have to get rid of the go awesome on first and forcing them to get rid of this first means that we can possibly stay alive even though we do have the ban of mega digimon fusion they do have win rate 60 percent to play with so being able to shut down reducing the cost make them pay full cost to try to win against you is huge so keep that in mind for reds blue the gabumon's the same reason for bonds decks but we have madoka Mad M Madoke Betamon because you can't reduce you can't gain memory except through tamers allowing you to shut down a little more of your opponent's combo plays with this and then we have Sayokamon so you can't reduce the evolution cost really nice because this helps with the you know 60 60 win rate stuff like that just to eliminate some of that issue let's go over to gr yellow Cutamon and is really nice because you want to pick up Cutamon because reducing, shutting down 60% 60 win, 60 win rate is huge. Then we have Rise Greymon being, while well, is really good for the Shine Greymon deck. And then Shyokamon is just great in general. This helps with the hybrid recovery deck. It helps with the Shine Greymon deck. It just helps while your opponent wants to play Hideaway. Shyokamon can help out extremely well. So keep that in mind, boys and girls. Um let's go from yellow to green really tentamon the next time one of your digimon digivolves into this card with insectoid or ancient insectoid and straight this turn reduce the memory cost helping ancient you know ancients ancient beetlemon being able to come in for a lot cheaper from its five down to four can really make or break the game so keep that in mind Arbromon is really good. You may digivolve this card from your hand to one of your green tamers as if the tamer was that. It helps out because Ancient Troymon is also a great stun deck. It still helps out because hybrids can be placed down any way, shape, or form. But with green, they have one of the most annoying cards for this meta. And that is Argomon right here. It has a Digisorption too, which we're fine with. But when digivolving, suspend all your tamers all your opponent's tamers all turns your opponent's tamers don't unsuspend being able to lock down their digi evolution key points means that they can't otk you like you want argomon's just gonna stay there and go like what are you gonna do about it boys i have the answer you do not so keep that in mind that argomon is just a really solid answer for this meta and don't sleep on this card because if you want to get the pre-release ones pick them up now so keep that in mind then let's go over to black black has chumon chumon has the gaining memory to shut down any annoying blue <gasps> can combo off with jessmon can combo off with just keep that in mind chinchorimon is really good because the digivolving your opponent stuff makes your day the only real black card i recommend playing um blocker is mechanori because this helps against a little bit of the hybrids because the hybrids don't have enough power behind them sometimes that you can just build up a Makanori and they can't really win game with an Agunimon or anything like that. So keep that in mind. Uh Dark Jamon, the Dark Jamon plus Skull, Dark Skull Nightmon really does make a fantastic deck. The synergy is really nice there, especially when you have a few more black cards that mill. It just gives you two extremely powerful boss Digimon to really pressure your opponent one cost seven which is kind of fine if we have a few izzy's and izzy joe's and even just regular izzy out to gain us three memory then go to seven that means or even more depending on what happens we'll go to three three five seven very easily so it just combos off really well the deck still is around during that format even if people say it might taper off so keep that in mind 
Then we have Gazimon. Gazimon is the same thing as Chumon, just shutting down some of the blue decks, the Jessmon decks, just keeping yourself alive. Pick up the Impmons because seven great Demon Lords and Musketeers is still a great viable deck. You have Lilith Loop and the other fantastic deck of Bellastar. So keep that in mind. Uh, pick up the Cerberus Mon, Werewolf Mon, and then Cerberus Mon. These cards will help you with a really interesting deck that plays the new purple option. Let me bring this up real quick. That might help out in the long game. I want to just talk about it real quick is let's scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Is ultimate sacrifice. This card allows you to play a purple level five from your hand from your trash. So let's say you have this server server mod out. This is in your graveyard. Ultimate sacrifice for eight. Now play werewolf mode because the effect is allowed to be on play activate. Delete one of your server spawn, draw two, discard one card, and then you'll just get werewolf mode. And then you can do it with the eyes mon triggering more draw potential than your opponent can handle. So keep that in mind. There's so much weird combo and jank with this. Pick these up. You're not going to want because these are in an older set gonna be harder to get if you wait too long black war Gralmon, still a fantastic card you may play just to help restand and puts the otk combos in purple outside of that purple really doesn't have a lot of older cards that you would want to hunt down uh the sister mons because we get the awakened forms of the sister mon seal and blanc or nor you want to pick these girls up they're just going to help you out they're going to do what you need to and just be the card you want to be so they'll help fi fix the issues you had. And then also Hawkmon is just great to try to get your system on blocks. And anything with Hawkmon, you're just going to go right into Jessmon. Let's talk about the amazing options you should pick up in this set. Let's talk about it. Breath of the Gods is a really good card because its DP can't be reduced and it cannot be returned to your hand or deck until the end opponent's next turn. And then it also has a really interesting, none of your opponent's Digimon can attack the player or security until the end of turn. So if this gets revealed early, if they're trying to OTK combo you, this card could be very beneficial in shutting that down. So Final Zor Punch really for the Alpha Mon Duraguramon deck. And that's just there to help you win the game. Ultimate Flare is a great defensive option, D Digivolving 3. It sees less and less play because of how the new format is playing out. They play the hide, hide Me game, where it's basically Tamers will stay out for a turn, then Digivolve into Tamers and start swinging in for game. So keep that in mind because now you're Tamers. It basically means you're upgrading from just having the Raising Area to having a bunch of Tamers be your out and win through Digi Evolution that way. So if you have a Digimon with... Um, Zwart Swarmers to help clear boards, and Three Musketeers is a very powerful deck this format. Iron Fist Onslaught is delete all your opponent's Digimon with the highest play cost. Still, Black needs this kind of card, and if it ever gets revealed in security, or if you see your opponent having a massively large board, you can just shut them down. Ultimate Connection, really for the Mugandramon, aka Machine Dramon deck, that's all you're really going to play it for. Black Memory Boost, if you're playing a Black deck, you play this. Howling Memory Booster, fantastic for the stun deck because now it makes it so your opponent can't attack or defend for the activation of this Howling Memory Boost until their next turn, and you get a delay effect. Then we have Memory Boost, um, reveal the top four cards of your deck, add one blue card among them to your hand, place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck in any order, then place this card into the battle area just to help you filter and dig a little deeper. Hammer Spark is this really needed explanation, just Hammer Spark. Hidden Potential Discovered. This helps out with giving you pretty much Mega Digimon Fusion for less. It might cost us two, but at least Hidden Potential Discovered rests us the Digimon, and then we get bigger. Really nice. Then we have Green Memory Boost just to do the reveal the top, get us a green card, well, Digimon, and then have a game to memory later on in the game. Trump Swords in there for the Bell Stars. Jack Rays for the Lilith Mon Loops and any other deck that might just be able to benefit. Demonic Devastation is to help restand Digimon and win more games and be much more of a threat. So keep that in mind. 
we have great memory boost to add a purple digimon card to our hand so keep that in mind just to help and then you gain to you have delay on it which is really nice and helpful for us underworld calling you may trash this card in your hand draw one but it also lets us play a level four or lower digimon onto the battle area so that could help us with ginkaban promotes that are really good in purple especially since if you're starting out now that should be a set you're starting to pick up for purple flying bullet is for the three musketeers builds purple memory boost anything that is in three musketeers will play this for purple it's a really good card gravity crush is to help gain for the otk combo in Jessmon or any other deck you want to have out a dedicated plan is one of your digimon if this digimon security check reveals an option this card effect does not activate so keep that in mind that it will help out a lot just shutting down your opponent's options it makes a win con for you and that's really just for Jessmon. um atomic inferno oh my goodness this card should be close to ban worthy for hybrids so red hybrids especially when this thing pops off all your digimon gain security plus one until the end of your opponent's turn it's a blanket effect so as new digimon come in extra security checks but if one of your digimon with hybrid if one of your digimon with hybrid in form gets plus 3000 dp in security this stacks and when this digimon get is blocked gain three memory what this 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 is amazing atomic inferno is like mvp card for one cost especially helps with the emperor graymon hybrid list you know just keep that in mind judgment of the blade for hawkmon pick those up uh fly bullet is for three musketeers red memory boost just for red decks in general just to help filter and gain cards atomic blaster is just so good and that it just removes a lot of board state against us uh win rate 60 percent is usually for the lilith mon loop decks anything else that just helps uh program memory halt is a really great one to help shut down uh the stun decks if it comes still as prevalent as it's supposed to be but we won't know until later blinding ray trash the cop card of your security gain two memory just keep that in mind wyvern's breath removal at its finest yellow loves it and then yellow memory boost just for digging deeper keep that in mind that you want these cards let's talk about the super rares you should grab so we got skull graymon of course because it combos really nice with a titanmon themed deck with the eyes mons and stuff like that it's just really good uh chaos gallantmon is still really good as well because nidhogg and chaos gallimon could really combo and go off lothmon loop still exists we just have to see if 60 win per percent rate really hurts this deck or not mastermon is still great just to help remove annoying security through our opponent's battlefield just keep that in mind uh rise graymon for shiny boys and then shine graymon for shine graymon so just keep in mind you want to pick these up they're really good tandem cards magna angemon is just a really good card all in general and it's going to be more and more better once we get the trial decks for bt9 but pick this up now because if you're planning on playing mastamon which is high yellow and purple deck you want to have these cards then we have hexablau being hexablau it's a great deck with the Zulamon, just all around what you want to have. Nidhoggmon is still a boss Digimon that really needs an answer to. It gets a little weaker because unless your opponent is fl already flooded and you somehow survive the turn, you got a way of winning here. So keep that in mind. Um, as I talked about, Jessmon, still one of the best decks in the format. It got so much. It's gotten like three cards in the set and it just went off. Jessamon got more consistent. Keep that in mind. Seraphimon is for the yellow hybrid recovery deck. It's just really powerful being able to check multiple securities and recovery. Like I mentioned, Shine Greymon, Lord Nightmon, still a viable deck in the format. Bonds of Bravery and Bonds of Friendship are still really viable decks. Pick up your Omnimons for the OTKs. Uh, Zawart Defeat for your Lilithmon loops. Just really all in all that kind of stuff there. And let's talk about the secrets because that's why we're here, boys. Alphamon with the Duragurumon stuff. New Alphamon support and his whole line just shows up now. Now we have some decent support with him. Keep that in mind. Lusamon for Lusamon fall down mode. If you haven't been hearing for weeks on end by content creators, pick up your Lusamon, pick up your Lusamon, pick up your Lusamon.
don't be upset when you lose out on the Lusamons when they jump back up to like 70 bucks. So keep that in mind. We have Ancient Gurumon and Ancient Greymon being respectively for their counterparts of the Magna Gurumon at slash Magnum Gurumon deck with Ancient Gurumon is really good, or the Ancient Gurumon with Bonds deck is really good. Ancient Greymon is fantastic with its Emperor Greymon counterpart. Bellstar got really powerful with the Eismon support, helping it be consistent more. Zord Defeat is here because we're in this set filled with Tamers, and this is the only card that can kill a Tamer. What were you thinking, Bandai? But hey, that's just what it is. And Machine Dramon is really good because Chaos Dramon is a card in the set. And then you can play with the Tidal Wave card and rip it out and play Machine Dramon for free and just do a whole bunch of nutty stuff because Machine Dramon then can activate its on play cost. And you're just going to go to town on your opponent because now you have a full stack with Chaos Dramon and then a full stack with Machine Dramon for cheaper and then you can gain memory back because you played them for cheaper out of the sort evolutionary sources making it very tough for your opponent to deal with so guys what do you think of the cards i recommended let me know down in the comment and i'll catch you in the next video peace